stage is all set for India's first ever auction of lithium reserves by December this year. The nation, under leadership of PM Modi, can certainly expect it to be a more transparent and successful process of auctioning government-owned natural resources. Hello and welcome, I am Shreya and you are watching the pamphlet. In February this year, owing to the exploration drive by the Geological Survey of India, large lithium deposits were discovered in the Salal Hemama area of Riyasi in Jammu and Kashmir. 5.9 million tons of this white gold was discovered, which is a huge number as previously just a few tons of this rare metal was discovered in Karnataka. Let us give you a little brief about how important this discovery of lithium is. Lithium batteries are one of the key components of the electric vehicle industry. Popularization of electric vehicles has increased the demand for lithium-ion batteries in India. India accounted for more than a million electric vehicle sales in 2022 and is anticipated to see a further increase by 40 to 45 percent by 2030. The demand for lithium batteries in India is currently around 3 gigawatts and is all set to increase to 20 gigawatts by 2026. Not only for electric vehicles, in fact, lithium batteries are also used for cell phones, laptops and many other electronic gadgets. In fact, lithium is set to replace the demand for crude oil as we advance towards a carbon-free emission zone. Presently, about 75% of the world's lithium reserves are concentrated in the lithium triangle zone, which includes Argentina, Chile and Bolivia. India, which is the second largest importer of lithium batteries in the world, has now explored and mined this mineral in its own soil. This remarkable discovery will take a step forward after its auction process begins at the end of this year. The process of consultation with the stakeholders has already begun, along with the appointment of an advisor. The auction process is expected to be transparent following the framing of necessary rules for bidding. The administration has also completed the demarcation work on the lithium reserve site, spread over an area of 3 square kilometers. Furthermore, an auction platform has also been initiated to carry forward the extraction process of 5.9 million tons of lithium. The auction process of such rare natural resources will be transparent. If we look at the coal box allocation by the present government, it has been successful till now with a transparent online two-stage process. Relaxed specific provisions have been followed, including a reduction in the overall upfront amount and an easing of the exit route. A few years back, such transparency was lacking under UPA government, which resulted in one of the biggest scams of India. Both 2G and coal scams occurred during UPA regime, taking a heavy toll on India's exchequer. Coal scam known as Coalgate was about irregularities in allocation of coal blocks to private firms, which came into light after questions were raised about the process of allocation. A PIL in Supreme Court was followed by investigation and cancellation of the allotment of coal blocks. According to the CAG report, the scam was to the tune of more than 10 lakh crore. Similarly, in the 2G Spectrum case, the then Telecom Minister A. Raja was accused of allocating airwaves and cell phone network licenses in exchange for bribes, which, according to the CAG report, caused the government a loss of about 1.76 lakh crore. Ignoring the political hurdles from oppositions, India should strive to explore more untouched areas and continue its transparent auction follow-up in the near future. This significant discovery could aid India's push to increase the number of private electric cars by 30% by 2030 as part of efforts to cut carbon emissions to tackle global warming. Thank you for watching. If you like the content, do like, share and subscribe to our channel, The Pamphlet.